Do you need a vitamin D supplement? Well, I have some information that might help you decide. Hi, my name is Teresa. I'm a licensed and registered dietitian with Nutritional Weight and Wellness, and I've been helping people assess their vitamin D status for years, helping them decide whether a supplement is right for them. Generally speaking, having adequate vitamin D levels is a very attainable goal to achieve. Vitamin D is often called the sunshine vitamin because our skin actually makes vitamin D when it's exposed to sunlight. But many people in the northern latitudes are deficient in vitamin D because really in order to get adequate vitamin D from sunlight on our skin, we'd have to be walking around in our bathing suits, so 70% of our skin exposed to sunlight between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. every single day of the week for at least 20 minutes. And while we're doing this, we actually can't be wearing sunscreen either because the sunscreen will actually block that UV light that we need in order to create the vitamin D in our skin. I don't think our dermatologist would approve of this. So most of us aren't walking around with our bathing suits on, exposing our skin to the sunlight for 20 minutes a day. Um, so we can be deficient that way. Um, and we also can be deficient because we also get some vitamin D from our foods, but really food doesn't contain very much vitamin D. There are some foods that do contain vitamin D, foods such as wild-caught salmon, pasture-raised eggs, and cod liver oil. But really because it's so limited, we can't often get the adequate vitamin D from our food as much as we'd like to. So why is having optimal levels of vitamin D so important? Well, because every one of our cells uses vitamin D, or every one of our cells has a receptor for vitamin D on it. It's also critical for calcium absorption into the bones. So if we think of bone formation in kids, or we think of the maintenance of our bones as adults. Vitamin D is also essential for a strong immune system. So think of keeping the bugs away during the winter, or the cold and flu season. Low levels of vitamin D have been linked to infectious disease, autoimmune conditions, and cancer. Other conditions associated with low levels of vitamin D are cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, depression, and type 2 diabetes. So do you need a supplement with vitamin D? Well, ask yourself these questions. Are you tired all the time? Do you have a hard time waking up in the morning? Or on the other end, do you have a hard time sleeping? Do you struggle with insomnia? Do you have carbohydrate cravings? What about in the winter? Do you catch all the cold, flus, and viruses that go around? Do you struggle with bone or muscle pain? How about do you have autoimmune condition or heart disease or osteoporosis? And what about this one? Do you live north of Atlanta? If you answered yes to any of these questions, a vitamin D supplement might be right for you. In the summer months, I recommend about 2,000 IUs of vitamin D um, just to cover your bases because we're not always out in the sun as long as we should be. And then for the rest of the year, I recommend 5,000 IUs of vitamin D just to make sure we're getting adequate levels during the times of the year when we just aren't getting that much sun. As far as making sure that you don't have too much vitamin D in your body, I suggest that you have your vitamin D levels checked at your doctor appointments each year. That way we can assess how much vitamin D that is actually appropriate for you. Um, the best range for vitamin D levels is between 50 and 80 nanograms per deciliter.